this is a continuation of our previous video where we start uh, <coughs> Spring Web Service using Spring uh, Boot Starter Web Service and uh, Lombok Jaxby and we write a code like Gen Jaxby. It's a task. It's actually create. It will create uh, Java classes based on the WSTL file. So we can see how we will implement this one. So right now uh, I'm getting an error. I didn't have any gen dot jaxb generating jaxb files. So I need to add that. So that is the first task uh, we are going to do today. Thereafter we will work to make a web service. So build script, uh, we should have some build script here. We already apply some plugins, plugins like Java, Eclipse, I don't need, Idea, I don't need. And um, I have a Spring Boot framework, dependency management. So everything is there. Almost everything is I have right now. I have only one dependency left not dependency I need to yeah I need to copy some files so actually it's available in online so I am not going to write it from scratch I am just copying that so if you are going here what generating jaxp is doing is Generating the source codes based on, uh, based on a schema that we are giving and based on that particular schema uh, It will generate Source code to a particular dire directory. So you we need to mention that uh, Directory here. So it will generate the code to that particular directory <coughs> So we have a, a yeah, we have some bash uh, shell commands also making directory and we have some after that we are uh, yeah we are adding in blues java files or something and uh, the last task we are doing is copying that file into the particular uh, directory source directory actually so it will generate in class directory then it will copy into source directory i guess to directory class directory the source is the source of the jxp files so that's all about that one but we need we need a particular configuration that also a mandatory stuff so we need to add something like configurations that i can paste it here that's for a jaxp actually so these are the sections we need for a successful compilation of our web application so i'm trying to compile this one so we can see what is going to happen here so i got another exception on line 36 so here i am getting some ex exceptions null pointer exception so probably i didn't have any files here so because of that probably i am getting this exception so what i'm going to do is i am copying that xst file so so I'm copying from another source that XST file into my resource directory and I'm fetching here. You can see what is in, is inside that particular directory. So right now it's asking for there is some changes. So right now the Gradle build is okay. So in XST we will have the schema about the xml so uh, here we have request and response we have separated schema request we are 
uh, we need only to accept the name field so it's a type of string and uh, uh, response field we are sending a country object and not object xml uh, data partial xml data that include name population capital everything is string and currency and that kind of thing so uh, schema is the xst is the definition of the that particular uh, that particular uh, xml one so that i include here based on this one it will generate the uh, generate it will generate our file so that's exactly i i mentioned here I have a countries.xst. Usually we will have a WSTL file instead of XST. So in this case only we are uh, yeah, depending on XST. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm trying to start this again. So my application started. So if we are going here there is a build directory and generator classes directory sources notation process not that one this one checks b io spring cats gs country currency so uh, everything yeah everything generator so uh, we have a, everything here object factory is the main one create get country uh, we are using this object factory to send the uh, send the request and response and we will get the we have the uh, yeah, request and re response model object also so that's all about the XST gen uh, the class generation used in the XST in uh, web service thank you for watching have a nice day